Welcome, my name is Kevin Woodbury and welcome to Twin Suns Tutorials. Today I'm going to be working in Adobe Photoshop Creative Suite, but the reality is this will work with um, Creative 654. It'll also work with uh, Elements. And what I'm going to be showing you today is how to sharpen an image using the high pass filter. And high pass filter is a little different than some of the other filtering in that this does edge sharpening. So it's, it's not actually doing the entire image, it's just doing any edges that it can identify within the picture. So the first thing we're going to do is, if you look over on the right side, you have your background layer. Now this is true of any image that you import into Photoshop. It automatically creates a background image. But in order to do high pass filtering, we're going to create a second layer. So we're going to go into the layer menu and say duplicate layer. And it's always a good idea to call this um, something similar to what you're doing. So in this case, I'm going to call it high pass filter. Um, and the reason you want to do that is a month from now, as you come back to edit this and you've forgotten what you've done, at least the label on the layer will tell you somewhat uh, what, what you've done with that layer. So it's, it's a good, if nothing else, a good tool for remembering where you are. Now, now that I've created the duplicate layer, I want to go into the filter menu and I want to come down to other and say high pass. Now, when the high pass filter opens, it'll open at whatever level you had it set to last time. If you've never done it before, it'll come and open to whatever the default may be for this filter. But notice um, it comes out as gray. And if you notice in the background, there's a lot of, of um, detail that you can see as opposed to if I go down to zero or zero one, there's nothing at all. The amount of detail that you can see will determine how sharp it becomes when you apply this filter. So it's always a good idea to at least be able to see some detail, detail in the background. You don't want to go so sharp that um, you can actually see the image uh, like this. That's, that's going to be excessively sharp. Um, normally you want to stay within the 1 to 5 or 6 range, but notice around the edges of this rock up here, um, there is some, you, you see some brown oh, or black fringe. That'll actually turn white uh, when we apply the filter, so you want to avoid that. So you want to have this down somewhere around 4 or 5 so that you, you minimize that. Um, so that looks pretty good to me. So I'm going to say OK. And now notice nothing's really changed. It's still gray. Um, what we have to do is go over to this blending box. And it says normal right now. Um, and I want to take it and go from normal to overlay. Now there's a number of things we could do with these other options. But I'm not going to focus on those today. So we're going to say overlay and let it go. And notice that we now have a much sharper image. And the way you can tell is this eyeball next to the filter that we've just created, if I click on it, it turns it off. Now watch as I click on and off. Watch how it goes um, from a little bit on the soft side to very sharp. And so I'm going to turn it on. And you should have noticed a huge difference in terms of the sharpness. So again, I'll turn it off and turn it back on. and. Now I would probably argue this is still a little over sharpened. So what I can do in this case is I can change the opacity. I can reduce that opacity. And as I do so, the level of sharpening will go down um, because what it's doing is blending um, the background layer in with the high pass filter versus if it was 100% capacity or opacity, um, it would actually obliterate the background layer. So. That's really how you apply a um, high pass filter. One thing you should get in the habit of doing, at least I do, is um, once I've created that high pass filter, I merge down. Um, and this will make sure that any other edits I make on top of that go to the background layer and not to the uh, grade um, high pass filter layer, which can be problematic at times. So I hope this was helpful. Um, this is Kevin Woodbury for Twin Sons Tutorials. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.